Hey Glam Squad, welcome back to another episode of Beginner's Guide to Makeup. In this lesson, I'll be recreating Meghan Markle's makeup look that she wore in a recent interview with Oprah. I was mesmerized by her dark smoky eye and flawless complexion with her natural beauty shining through. So if you'd like to see my top tips to recreate this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So you want to start off with a good base. I'm using the Dripping Gold but first base and the shade Caramel and as you can see here it comes out white but it blends out into a gorgeous sheer lightweight base. It's not glittery or chalky and even though we are going for a matte look you want to make sure your skin is well prepped especially if you have dry skin. We are going for a flawless lightweight matte base so it's important to use a colour corrector so less foundation and concealer will be needed. I'm using pink under the eyes to cancel out any darkness and green on any breakouts. You want to pack this on with a brush using a tapping motion. The colour you use will depend on the area and your skin tone so make sure you refer back to my other makeup lessons to show you how to use a colour corrector. Moving on to foundation, to get that gorgeous matte finish, I'm using the Catrice All Matte Foundation in the shade 020 Nude Beige. This is one of my favorite foundations. And I'm using a very small amount of product and I'm packing it on using a powder brush. I do have a really detailed video on foundation, which I'll leave linked below, but this is just a gorgeous foundation and it's perfect for this look because you want to be able to see your skin peering through. To add shape and definition and a bronze glow that unfortunately I don't naturally have, I'm using the Sosu by S. SJ contouring sticks in light and warm. Using creams is a great way to add dimensions but also keep your complexion very skin like and natural. I'm then going to blend it out using a sponge. Like I said, this will give you a gorgeous, very natural sheer finish. So it's still keeping everything very natural and skin like. Megan appears to be wearing a lot of blush, so I went in with the Revolution Cream Blush. This is extremely pigmented, as you can tell here, so a little goes a long way. I then went back with my sponge and just tapped over everything to make sure everything's blended together. To lock the creams in place, I took a very small amount of powder and packed it over the areas it needed. The Wet n Wild powder is very, very sheer and lightweight, so perfect for dry skin. And then I went in with a lot of blush using my blush hack, which you can find in my beginner's makeup lessons. Fake freckles are my new favorite thing. I'm using the Sosu by SJ freckle pen, and this is incredible. Just be totally random with it. Just pack it on wherever, and then just use your finger to and kind of pat it in place, don't blend or rub it. And then I'm going back with my powder brush and just putting on a little bit more of the powder and the blush just so it looks more realistic because if you did have freckles, they will be a little bit underneath the foundation. Then I just finished off with some lipstick and I just patted it on instead of applying it for a more natural muted look like Megan has. And then moving on to the eyes, I took my favorite neutral eyeshadow palette. This is the Beauty Bay palette. I'll only be using two eyeshadows today. I'm going to take Cinnamon Bun on a fluffy blending brush, blend this back and forth across the crease of the eye, and then once the color is in place, blend up towards the brow bone. Then go in with a smaller blending brush and a bit of brown suede, which is a darker brown eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pack this onto the lid. Remember the technique for matte shadows, pat and wiggle, pat and wiggle, and this is going to ensure that you get the most pigment from the shadows and they don't go patchy on you. Then go back with your blending brush and blend everything together to make sure it's completely seamless. Then you want to go in with a black liner. You want to line your waterline. Make sure this is a nice creamy liner now. And very roughly just kind of apply it on your lash line and then take a brush and just smoke it and smudge it out. You don't have to be precise with it because it's going to be very natural and smoky once it's blended out. And then you can also apply the dark brown shadow on the lower lash line. And to finish off the look, I'm using the Meg Lashes from my brand new birthday collection, which is launched today. And I actually just copped it now that I used the Meg Lashes. That was not planned, I promise. Um, but yeah, that's it. And this look is so simple, yet so freaking flawless. I adore it. I think this is going to be my new go-to look. It's just absolutely stunning. The freckles, oh my god, obsessed. I only did one eye so you could see the difference and see like this look is just so flawless on its own. You don't even need eye makeup. I am wearing the granny lashes here from my new collection. So, so natural and beautiful. This is definitely a new go-to look for spring, summer. If you recreate this look, don't forget to tag me. You can check out my lashes in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And I hope I get to see you in my next makeup lesson. And don't forget to check out my beginner's guide to makeup playlist as well. You won't regret it. <laughs> see you soon.